Oh, we're in. In like Flynn. How is everybody? Are we in the his house? Don't mind me, I'm gonna get my bits together. Ew. And uh, we can get cooking. If you're cooking along, if you're cooking along, come say hi, don't be shy. Um, and uh, yeah, hello. That's probably my mum, bless her. What an absolute leader of a lady she is. Samantha Craven, come on down. Welcome, my love. How are you? All right? Everyone happy? I do keep nipping to the sink. I haven't left you guys. There's the music on. Feel free to change it. First person that wants the music can have it, in my opinion. Um, right, a bit of olive oil. A bit more. Okay. Excuse my French. Sorry, didn't get off to a good start, though, did we? I've been told to like curb just swearing a bit, so. There goes up in. Paxo, Mr. Bobby Bias. Mate, let's get going. Look at this, Friday night fakeaways. Oh, I'll tell you now, and I'll be completely honest, I've had quite a long day. I was up at 3 a.m. this morning and I didn't manage to get my little siesta in. But, speaking of siestas, check out the face files for lockdown. You know it makes sense. What else are you gonna do? Okay, um, the recipe went on Facebook earlier in the week. If you haven't got your stuff together, don't worry, I'm putting mine together now. And wrote Mr. Sydney Roseblade, thank you for sharing, constantly sharing all my stuff, mate. Thank you. Aaron, are you cooking along, pal? Um, oi, oi, Ange, and um, Eden Mott's cracking grill you've got for your barbecue there, bruv. Um, mate, it's so good to see you all. I'm gonna give it five, 10 minutes, see who's, I bet, I bet most people are actually in the sun getting blazed or, um, drinking, which I don't blame them for, so they can always watch this back on YouTube, maybe Insta if it works. I'm just measuring out some, you know what? I'm just measuring out some paprika and uh, some chili flakes and some oregano. It's on the recipe. Now, I've got a little confession to make. Um, this dish tastes better if you marinate it, but I didn't want to do, I didn't want to be in your faces all week with like this, so I'm just going to do all in one hit. And then when you come to do it the second time and the third time, because we know practice makes perfect, um, you do it the day before, marinate it the day before or in the morning for the evening, okay? Ooh, bloody sets form of pieces. Right, who else is in? Hep, hello mate. Come on, can't we just see you guys? Oh, hello. oh sorry, screen froze. Me, not Lorna tonight. Good evening, Oswald, I'll take it mate. J evening Jody, James, to Fear. Ah, oh, Mr. Fear, I saw your post on Facebook in the week. How are you for, for photographing, photoing um, food? Because I'm hit at it. I need some lessons on how to photograph food. Because everyone on Instagram uses filters and saturation and... Uh? Anyway, okay, I'm just making a quick marinade in there. There's olive oil, oregano, chili flakes if you want some heat, smoked paprika. And if you haven't seen one of these before, they're the things I live by when it comes to garlic. It's from a company called Regus and it's the best thing. You get the garlic crusher, I think, well, this has got one here. I don't use it. This is the regular one, isn't it? You put your little cage in there and you crush the garlic and you get about half a clove comes through the holes. This thing, this bad lad, get some espressos in me. Oh, mate, I don't think anyone needs that, do they, Joe? Let's be honest. Um, <laughs> you want to be able to understand some of it. You take the clove of garlic, and if you look, this plate's got edges on it. It's all good. And then you just grate it. And what happens is all the pulp and all the flesh and all the juice and all the good stuff of the garlic stays on the plate and the skin and the fibrous nonsense doesn't. It just, it's the best way to grate garlic. I don't work for them. If they want to sponsor me, they can. Um, but I, I think it's the best way to get garlic into a meal, okay? Unless you're doing like solid chunks for roast potatoes and stuff. So. In there, olive oil, paprika, oregano, and chili flakes. I'm gonna add garlic, salt, pepper, and we're gonna rub that around our chicken, all right? Oh, if you're cooking along, get your oven on, 200. Fan, 220 electric, and let's get it done. Um, if anyone's got a penchant for better music, then they can call for it. The Alexa's in the corner. Hi, Pip, how you doing, mate? Oh, right, so um, everyone who's cooking along, just stick a thumb up or a finger up or whatever and let me know what's up so I can address you and see how you're getting along. I don't want to go too fast. 
Um, and I don't want to be here, uh, well I do want to be here, I want to be here the whole time. But I don't want to keep you guys for any longer than necessary. Um, once it's in the oven it takes about 40 minutes, so it will come close to about an hour. Um, but if you want, once it's in the oven and you want to bugger off, you can do that, I don't mind, I don't mind. Right, four cloves of garlic, come on, my favourite ingredient. Uh, if you've watched me before in the JSA, sorry I am still here, in the JSA, or um, you've caught one of my videos on YouTube, you'll know that my favourite ingredients in the world are just two of them, garlic and butter. Because there's not a dish in the world, on the, in my humble opinion, there's not a dish on the planet that can't be made better with garlic and butter. Who else is in? Gin and tonic, nice. F-U-B, what? Wash hands after. What? Rob, this is not the time for cryptic bollocks, Spock. All right. F-U-B. F -U oh, mate, come on. Oh. Is there some the kind of code? Angela, you're cooking along. Amy, you're cooking along. Good news. You are my priority. Everyone else is just here for the ride. See my gorgeous moustache and have a bit of banter. Oh, I just said banter. I'm so, so sorry. Um, how are you all doing, guys? How's the week gone? More and more people are getting to see each other, I think, with the government regulation on lockdown. But let's not dwell about that, but drone on about that. Let's talk about food. So, in our little bowl, measured out garlic, paprika. I'll keep repeating it until because late comers. Crushed garlic paprika, oregano, salt and pepper in a minute, and that's gonna go all over our chicken, all right? Cheeky little whisk, Robert's your father's brother. Um, Marinade's ready, good skills. So, like I said, I do apologize. This dish is best done with a marinade early doors, but I didn't want to nausea you all out all week and uh, do a marination video and all the rest of it. Oh, maybe I should have. I'm not going to lose sleep over it, I'm not going to lie. We're here now, and thank you for joining me. Right, so our marinade is there, real simple. If you want more heat, add more chilli flakes, obviously. Mad busy. Hey Coops, hey Andy, how you doing, man? Um, yeah, my week's been a little bit up and down. I've obviously got this job now with early starts, but it's all good. So I got these thighs, legs from Morrison's. Now, I want to contradict myself here, because they were a quinn, I just walked past them and grabbed them for the barbecue. Uh, and then we're doing this. If you can, and I've done this, if you can, during lockdown, get your food delivered so you don't have to go to the supermarket. If you've got a local butcher, bar, baker, candlestick maker, we'll do a plain one for my son because it'll probably kick off if I do that one. Um, can you use them? Um, it's taken me a little while. These have been in the freezer, so that's my excuse. Um, yeah, use them. They're not as expensive and the produce is 10 times better. Honestly, it's just, local businesses need to thrive, in my opinion, and so Google local farm shops and butchers, bake, whatever you're jonesing for, and if you have to click and collect dry goods, then I understand that, and go to your local supermarket for dry goods, but fresh produce needs to come from the smaller guys, and they won't charge you a fortune, and they'll deliver it to your door, and you stay safe, and just do it. Rant over. Right, score the chicken, so I'll get cracking, my mum will be in my ear now, just shut up and get on with it. Sorry, mum. Right, score the chicken, then we're going to drop wherever your marinade is, get it into every crevasse, crevice, crevasse. I'm going to keep that chicken. Normally if I was working in the kitchen, I'd trim these up, make them look real nice, but it's rough and ready tonight. We just want flavour, hot meat, some chips, some corn cobs, some coleslaw, and whatever else you want. Jax is going separate. And right, okay, so I'm going to get these into the bowl. Just toss them once, toss them twice, and then we're gonna bang onto a tray, okay? Now you don't want the wire rack on your tray because we're gonna add the corn cobs for the last 10 minutes of the cook, okay? So just cover your chicken with the marinade, hold the drumstick, dot it around, get it on, and plonk it on the tray, okay? I don't know if you can see the tray, I'll show you afterwards. I'm literally just flopping it down, right? Now, like I said, if you wanna do this properly, the marinade can go in the day before. I'm a massive fan of it, and you'll know this when I start doing the barbecuing uh, with my man over in the Huckle Co. Um, barbecues, you, ma you can marinate stuff days in advance. Uh, only two days, okay, a day in advance. And you can do a lot of prep for barbecues all, all in advance. So, um, we'll get onto that, but this one I just wanted to give you rough and ready. Chicken! 
Nando's Perry Perry Chicken. Also, while I was going to my local supermarket, which is a Morrison's, others do it, uh, other supermarkets are available. I found Perry Perry seasoning in the uh, herb and herb oil. I mean, that kind of depressed me a little bit, if I'm completely honest. Uh, right, all the marinade, get it onto your chicken, into every little nook and cranny. Whatever's left. There we go. Oh, yeah, chilli hot. Just gonna wash my hands, Rob. Don't know what that was all about. Oh. Which are now orange, I might add. Okay, are we there? Hello? Get rid of that board, because I've brought chicken on. That's it. Health and safety, Rob. Nazi, and I'm going to tuck Jacks into the into the uh, kitchen, uh, kitchen into the corner. Right. Too many lefes. It's my first one, just a boil. Uh, two secs. Mm. Let's catch up with you guys. Manny, how are we doing, Brute? No, oh, if you haven't hit like, hit like already. Evening cooling. Okay, see you later, Pips. Have a great weekend, my love. Cookie, nice one. Not cooking, that's fine. Carol, hello, hello to um, to Ricky and the kids. Guys, this is awesome. Right, hit like, hit love, and also please, 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 please get you and your friends to follow on Insta and all that jazz. Right, ovens at 200, those kicking along. Oh, cheers, Rob. Um, oven up to 200, bang them in, set the time for about 25 minutes, okay? See ya! If you're having fries with yours, I am. Read the packet, bang them in as well. Right, let's catch up with each other. What's everything going on? Yeah, get it in, Ange. Nice one, lovely. Well done for coming along. Um, who else was cooking along? Amy, Samantha, Angela, Ar Kanisha, and Ange. Awesome girls. Right, so, is your chicken in? Is your chicken in? Uh, we're gonna, uh, if you're doing fries out of the freezer, which I am, just read the packet. They're probably about 20, 30 minutes and you want them at 200 degrees as well for a fan assisted oven so you get that crispiness, but hopefully they won't burn. Uh, tip, if you want to stop your chips from burning, just roll them in a little bit of oil first, because then the heat hits the oil and it acts as a barrier and you don't get black ones and raw ones. It's just does your nothing oven chips, doesn't it? Right, while they're in, I'm just gonna, the corn cobs, literally, again, four out of a packet. Yes, I should have gone to my local farm shop, but they didn't deliver past six. The new one I was looking at didn't deliver in my area. Based in Tewkesbury they are, great, great fruit and veg, but we're a bit too far south in Cheltenham. So I'm just taking, tidying these up a bit because they're rubbish and they've got loads of fibre and crap on, which will cook off in the oven. And we're going to bang those into the oven with about 10, 15 minutes to go, okay? We're not going to do anything to them. The juices from the chicken will coat the coal cobs, yeah? Make them taste less like arse. Um, so that's that done. Chips in, right, really, really good. I've got thighs. Same time? Yeah. Yeah, how big are they? Go about 20 minutes for thighs, love. Um, and we'll see how we go. Actually, 15, 20. How big are the thighs? I've only got legs. Let's take that down. So I want to take that down for 20 minutes. Sorry about that. I'm getting all discombobulated. Have you got your rice on your ingredients list? Yes, I have got rice. Coming to it, mother. Okay. In this pan, in this pan, 300 grams of rice, if you're doing the full recipe. Get it in the pan, let me know how you get on. And then you wanna add 200 ml of water and a can of coconut milk. Oh, I should have really rinsed that coconut milk out with the water, shouldn't I? That's silly. I'm gonna set a bit more water, two sets. Right, get all the flavor, all the stuff in, and then a bit of salt, and that's your, and that's your rice. Are we all together? God, I'd love it when you guys tune in. It would break my heart. The numbers have gone down. It would break my heart to, uh, to not to like just do it to no one. That would suck. But, happens. Right, okay. Rice, coconut, water, salt, whisk it in. Get that covered. Happy? Lid on, bang on the heat. No, no messy. Thank you, come again. Okay, so I know it's hard to cook and type, but I hope you're all doing all right. 
How's everyone doing? Evening happy, how you doing mate? Look at all these lovely people coming to say hello. Recap marinade, mum. Um, sorry, it's olive oil, paprika, chili flakes, smoked paprika, chili flakes, oregano, salt, pepper, crushed garlic. While you catch up, I'm gonna grab a beer. Stay with me guys, it'll all be worth it. Cheeky Nando's. And with, with whatever you want to add with it. I wanna get some chips out of the freezer in it. Mmm! Matt, Matt Shepard told me you are awesome. Oh, Carol! Say hello to Shep for me. Yeah, we used to play rugby together. Well, I say play, I think we trained once and then he was old and he started refing or something. Um, tell him I said hello. I know he's changed schools, he did tell me, but I forgot which one it was. Uh, evening, cuz, and Piers. How you doing, man? Do excuse me. I'm uh, getting some homemade chips. <laughs> oh my head off. Right, 20 minutes in the um, 220. Perfect. So, try the chips. Oh, while I have you guys, and please again share all this, the lesson plans are coming along. So, if you want one on one time like this, you can go on my website, and I'm going to do a landing page soon as well. Just bear with me because obviously this all comes as a surprise. Um, and you can have lessons with me, just one on one. It's, it's alright, I can hear my son in the background. And I've just seen my wife run across the garden to try and grab him. Like I'm some kind of, on BBC, like I'm some kind of politician. <laughs> then <laughs> Jack's gonna run in. If Jack does come in, get to meet him, say hello. He loves all this. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, one on one lessons. How can I check? Stop that. So yeah, go on the website, benchmarkhubmkhub.com, and there's lessons for you. One on one, you can book a packet of four lessons. Uh, the clients say it's all right, and it's just face. I FaceTime while during lockdown because we can't see each other. And then as it eases up, I'll come to you and teach you how to cook. And it's bespoke. It's whatever you want. If it's a Sunday lunch, if it's a pad thai curry, if it's fish and chips, if it's whatever you want to learn how to cook, we can do it, okay? So check that out. Right, that's my pitch. Oh, Anton, I don't know, mate. Um, I don't pay attention. I, like, I go to work and then I come home and I stay tight. With spuds and salad, just grabbing a gin. Good skills. If you haven't hit like or or like already, Joe B, good to have you on board, mate. I know you probably won't stick around for the whole evening. You're a very busy man. Burko school. Yeah, well, me and him met, met, met in Ricky Carroll, so that's us. Nice. Right, anyway, sorry, I'm gassing on. I can already smell what's coming out of the, uh, the oven, so that's gonna be nice. And I'm gonna bang my fries in. Chips, fries, what are they? Wow. Two sets, guys. So yeah, in about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna whip that chicken out uh, and we're gonna baste it and we're gonna roll the uh, corn cob cobs in there and that's the rest of it. But, I'm gonna, and the rice is on, so the next thing is coleslaw. Now, I did put the coleslaw ingredients on the list, but if, if you don't know how to make coleslaw, I think we're pretty lost, aren't we? Um, everyone's is different. I put red onion in mine, but I wanna let you know that you can put Generally, whatever you like in there. Once the rice comes up to boil, by the way, you can turn it down. What we do with the lime, put it in later. That's, to, that's just to season, mum, at the end, just drizzle it on top. Bless you. Thank you for asking the questions, though. Is anyone else as lost as my mother? I'm joking, mum, don't hate me. Um, is everyone else all right who's cooking along? Too fast? Too much chat? Just get on with it? Okay. Right, coleslaw. This will make you laugh. Look at the size of the carrots I've got left. I thought I had some carrots in the fridge for this, and alas, I didn't. I mean, what the F is that all about? But I'm gonna try and grate them and not take off my fingers. Top tip, again, if you are grating carrot, leave the ends on, because you're gonna throw it away anyway. Oh my God, I'm gonna hurt myself. Does it make for good TV? And the beans, the beans are going in the rice, mum. I'll, I'll come to all that, mum. 
Thanks for reminding me though. Uh, I don't know what beans you got. Did you get black beans, pinto beans, black eyed beans? I've got pinto beans. Well done, Mum. You keep asking questions. Basically, if you don't know, the reason I'm doing this is because of my mum, mainly. I bought, I did buy it actually, I've got given it. I'm sorry, I got her a cookbook from one of my events, signed and all that malarkey. And she was, mum was very, very like, very pleasant about it all. She says, it's very nice, but there's too many ingredients. And the method is quite complicated in parts. It's not a complete retard. Um, and so I thought about that and I thought, you know what? I've worked in enough places where it is full on and complicated, but these cookbooks are every man and his dog and woman, sorry, are shelling out on the bookshelves. I bet they get used for one recipe and then st stashed because you, the ingredients you use for one dish sit in the back of the cupboard for another 20 years and, and, and all the rest of it. So I thought, well, you know what, I'll just make it easy and, and get, use some restaurant techniques and bits and pieces that we do in the tray to get people's kitchen confidence up. And that is the entire essence of cooking with coops. It's not to baffle you with too much stress. It's to get you your favorite dishes on the table with a bit of fun and some new techers. And like I said, if you do the one-to-one -one lessons uh, and all the rest of it, you'll get that. And it's that's where I'm going with it. All right, there you are, another pitch over. I've got to stop pitching. Tell me about yourselves. How's everyone else doing? Runner beans? Are you insane? Mother, mother, are you trying to sh oh, mum, I bet you my mum's had a gym as well. She's trying to shanghai my, uh, my presentation, my tutorial. Right, everyone else is cooking along. Girls, how are you doing? Ange, thanks for coming back to me. How's uh, the others? I forgot all your names. Some are going with A and some are going with C. I've just got me a little tin of mixed beans, mum, if I'm honest. A little bit less of your sauce, that'll go quite well. Oh, I've lost my tin opener. I am still here guys, sorry, this is not really... Right, so I just got like mixed beans. Um, so I'm gonna put, open this up and then drain them off, rinse them with some nice cold water and then bang them in the, the rice towards the end, all right? Capiche? Where are we at? Michael Fawcett, hello mate, how you doing, all right? So, what's everyone got planned this weekend? Come at me. Barbecues, the weather's going to continue. I'm just filling up the, the, like a paddling pool and that's me all weekend I think I'm going to stay. That's just totally... Sorry guys, I should have drained them off earlier. Right, I can hear my rice coming up, so give it a stir guys, and then turn it down to a simmer. Leave the lid on, that'll be done in about 10 minutes, all right? Very good, very good, very good. Now, I got shown the, I was shown the coconut rice thing once upon a time and I've never looked back. A lot of people just do it, can do it. Chicken stock. Well done, Samantha. Keep going. Nice, nice. Gin wine fire. Yes, nice. Um, yeah, the coconut milk and rice, it just gives it, it just elevates the, the rice because anyone can get a pack out of the uh, cupboard and I'm sure some of you will. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, but adding coconut milk to it just gives it a little bit of richness and I like it, so I've always done it. Evening Isaac, how are you mate? Mm. And Zeus flying in, I'm honoured for the, all your presence guys. Bless him. My, my, oh, sorry, so the garden's that side and I keep, people keep running around and it's just my son. Who, if you've got a three year old, can't keep their clothes on. Don't know where he gets it from. Um, yeah, so they're playing, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit sidetracked. Um, right, all the girls kick along. We've got the, we're gonna do coleslaw. I'm gonna get my little bowl out. Great carrot in there. Then half a lot of onion. You don't wanna overpower it in my opinion. Your choice. You've all got personal preferences and tastes. We don't wanna, it's not regimented. Like I said, it's not a restaurant where everything's gotta be oh, bang on. You can do what you want in your own kitchen. And I hope you do. If you want to get sloshed and just throw everything in a pan, we've all done it, let's be honest. And if you want to learn how to prep a dinner for four, whatever you want to do, it's your kitchen, be the master of it. Get the, get the confidence. Okay, I will do, Isaac, thanks, yeah. I've 
I'll do what I want, mate. It's my show, not yours. How's the poker coming along, all right? Are you up or down? And also, do you see anyone from the restaurant? Fluffy as fudge, thanks for not swearing. So, also, while I'm here, I'm gonna start doing some classes in the future. There's a lot on. Someone wrote an article about me the other week as well. I mean, it's all very surreal, I guess, for want of a better word. Okay, grated carrot and onion, but I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do some kids' classes, the fun stuff, skinny pizzas, pasta, scones, bits and pieces like that. And that will definitely not have any swearing in it, all right? Just so you know. Right, I've got some old cabbage here. I'm gonna turn this into some coleslaw, just to get rid of it. So we've got coleslaw, fries, chicken, and rice. Is there anything anyone needs to know at this stage that is cooking along? Is anyone discombobulated, baffled, or wants to ask a question about something else? Because like I said, it is hard to type and cook at the same time. So if you get someone else to do it that's in your kitchen, I'll read through all the questions later and answer them, I promise. Please, guys, remember to share the love, Insta, subscribe on YouTube, and yeah, give all this a like and a share as well, because the more people that like and share it, the more people I can help to cook in their own home and not have to spend loads of money going out. And when they do go out, it goes somewhere better because they save the money. Ha oh, booyah! Nice man. Yeah, how are they all, Isaac? Are they all still at um, Foster's? Tell them I said hello. Actually, Manny was on earlier, but he's probably gone. He's probably bored. Feels nice not having to work on a Friday night. Right, so, grate the carrot. Shred your lettuce by hand on the knife. There's no point grating cabbage, it just comes out pish. And that's your coleslaw. Now, mayonnaise, yes. Lemon juice, yes. Salt and pepper, yes, by all means. But you can also add other stuff, like mustard. Binds well with the mayonnaise. And you can do piri piri. Now, I'm not going to, because we've got piri piri with the chicken. However, you can make spicy, may uh, spicy mayonnaise up and add it to the veggies to give it a little bit of a twist. Check your rice size, make sure it hasn't stuck to the bottom of mine. Oh, mine hasn't. I'm going to take mine off the heat for a second, I'll come back to that because I want to talk to you guys. That'll continue to cook. Let me just get my mayonnaise. I really haven't prepped well for this because I'm absolutely shattered. La 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 la. Excuses, excuses, right? You put mustard on everything. That is also true, Mort. <laughs> And yes, I am using light mayo. I'm not ashamed. Who couldn't, who couldn't do this, losing a few extra pounds over this lockdown? I've eaten like an absolute, well, quite regularly, actually. Okay, pulse lord done. How's our timer looking? Four minutes on that. Uh, there we go, wash my hands and Work that mayonnaise into. I didn't put mustard on anything, right? I think last time we had a full English, it was mustard. Evening, Rosie. Should get a common sponsorship. Oh no, I'll go with the French lot, mate. Well, I'm gonna open a window to roast in there. Mort, what are you doing this weekend, bruv? Barbecuing? I can't wait to do the barbecue episode. Actually, while we're here, if anyone's in the GL postcode, once lockdown's over, wants to come to a hench barbecue, drink cider in the sun and smoke brisket, hit me up. You'll kill me for doing that, but hey -o. Right, there's our cold store. Now, a lot of people, including supermarkets, absolutely butcher their coleslaw. Excuse me, that's a poor terminology. Hang on, let me rewind. They don't do their coleslaw very well because they drown it in mayonnaise. Now you want crunch from your vegetables and you also want to taste them. And if you go to a supermarket service station, wherever you're getting your coleslaw from, don't. 
that took like five minutes with me chatting. Grate some veggies, bang it in a bowl, bang in some peri peri, some lemon juice, some mustard, some salt and pepper, some mayonnaise, and make it. But please, don't over the, look, you can still see the individual strands of vegetables, onions, whatever you want to put in it. Google some, co co uh, some coleslaw recipes. Stop overdoing it with the mayo. Just hides everything. It gets you fat, and I love mayonnaise. But coleslaw just needs it to, it's a binding agent for the coleslaw. It's not part of the dish, it just brings everything together. You shouldn't just be able to taste white coleslaw. I'm really ranty tonight. Um, white coleslaw, because it's mayo with a few veggies in it, all right? And I know why, it's because they use cheap coleslaw. It tastes of, anyway, so, do me a solid. Stop buying home uh, shop bought stuff, period. Especially coleslaw, there's absolutely no point. Right, rants over, barbecue every day, nice. Costco run in the week, nice. Mustard and garlic on fruit salad. Mum, are you on the gym? Must. I'm not going into that. Right, check your rice, have a little taste, see if it's up to scratch. Nearly there. We'll give that a little bit more love on the lowest heat. Aaron, how are you getting on, mate? You're not fat, you're powerfully built. I was, I was, I was powerfully built, once upon a time. Right, guys, uh, if you haven't hit like, hit like already, please share, subscribe, follow on Insta, all that stuff that they make you do in the real world that isn't really real. Let's have a little chat. Who's there typing? Come on, come at me. We're nearly done. Did I say we'd do anything else? Garlic bread, but then we had that last night for dinner, so can't be bothered. Sorry, it's been a long day, you can probably tell. And I'm really warm in here, I look terrible. Right, Nando's. Sorry, two sets. Right, Mum, you can add your beans now. To your rice. Another two minutes with the beans in, okay? See the state. That side over there just looks like a bomb side. Add your beans. Oh, it's all kicking off. And stir them in. Oh, it's so coconutty. Nice. And we're going to add our lime juice right at the last minute, okay? So another two minutes in the rice. If it's got a bit dry, add a bit of uh, water by all means. Stick the lid back on, lowest heat, and just cook that out for two minutes. After the two minutes is done, add your lime juice, the rice is done. Now the buzzer went off, we're going to put our corn cobs in. Let me get this out and show you what to do. Shake your chips, fries, whatever you're having, if you are having them. I'll just put them in because I wanted to. And we've got our chicken. Right, take a shallow spoon, or if you've got a turkey baster, I'll use that. Turkey baster, tilt your tray. I'll do it with a spoon because you've probably all got spoons. And just skim and baste. And skim and baste. Obviously, don't watch me concentrate on my voice, maybe. And doing the job. Skim and baste. Skimmy, skimmy. All the juices. We're going to go for another 10 minutes. Make sure that chicken's cooked all the way through right that's enough of that and with the rest of the juice just move the chicken to one side this is the best part of the video if I'm honest. and then t again tilt it and just roll your corn cobs through all those juices rub them around you get the idea get the filth out they're gonna have some chicken fat in there they're gonna have some paprika some garlic roll them through that lovely all the lovely juices that have come out of that meat Yeah, lovely. Keep going. I know I've got asbestos fingers. Use a spoon to pat them around or whatever. Give it a little wipe, shake, sorry. And bang it back in for another 10 minutes. Or if your oven's super double hard, maybe seven or eight. Stand by. I'm gonna go seven minutes. 
and use my Pro. Oosh! And there we are, we're nearly there. Evening Lauren, evening Shep. Who does your washing up at yours? Dishwasher mate. And me. Okay, Samantha, just add some more water, my love. Ideas for next week. Um, I was gonna do, I'm gonna say, just waving goodbye to my in-laws. Um, I was gonna do steak next week, but, oh, that reminds me, thanks, cuz. Next month is June, and I'm gonna do You Choose June. So, hit up what you want me to cook on Friday Night Fakeaways. In the comments here, get in touch via DMs, you choose June. I don't mind what it is. Pad Thai, fish curry, fish and chips. Uh, we've done KFC and Big Macs. We've done Waggers. We can have another Waggers one if you like. We're now doing a bit of Nando's. Whatever you want on the Friday night fake away, hit me up. I read all these comments. I answer the questions and we'll see how we do. Okay? Evening, Joe. Well done on the uh, John Lewis thing. Sous vide for steak. Yeah, reverse sealing. I get it. Not a problem. Mm. Barbecue, barbecue, barbecue. And I'll do barbecue when I can set this up outside the point. Oh, by the way, you can do this Nando's on the barbecue. Um, the reason I'm doing it in the kitchen is not everyone's got a barbecue, or they won't want to do it in the kitchen. But yeah, I'll do it. Evening, Jack, how are you doing? Toad in the hole. Wagga ramen. Okay, yeah, this is better. So you choose June's gonna be a thing. You can get contact me any way you like. Um, and we'll, we'll cook it together. Bow bugs, which, oh, mate. They're a pain in the bum. But, okay, if you haven't hit like, hit like already, share, subscribe, all that other jazz. Just waiting for the chicken and the, someone's, Samantha's rice to finish, add a little bit of water. Cook it out, get those beans in. Mine's the same. In fact, no more heat on that. And I'm just gonna let it steam in its own heat. Put the lid on and leave it alone. Leave me alone. Done. Pizza? You want to learn how to cook pizza? Absolute ball bag. Um, sure. Pizzas. Pizza? Seriously? Skinny pizzas or proper pizzas? Because uh, skinny pizzas you can do with a tortilla wrap. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Sourdough pizza, wow, it could be anything, not Sourdough pizza, is that the extent? Okay, we can do that, 100%. Have you all got mixers at home? For the dirt, or are you gonna uh, give yourself a workout mixing it all up? Bow buns and pizza. Okay, that's two, that's two Fridays. Oh, I look forward to the challenge. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Right, nearly there, guys. So, you've got your eyes, better get some plates and make this look pretty. Impossible. Right, so, now, if you were doing this for friends, you'd probably want to make it look tarty and stuff with this. So, I know every kitchen in the whole of the UK has got these little goo pots. You just want to make your, put your slaw or your sauces in there. Now, I'm another apology. I looked at making the Nando sauce, it had taken me over an hour, so just buy it from the shop. And if that's ruined your take fake away tonight, I'm so, so sorry. Um, I just wanted to do the chicken and the basics, the chicken and the rice. Right, so look, two little pots to make it look a little bit fancy schmancy. Uh, we'll take some rice. Oh, I love it when you get that hit of the coconut. We'll taste that, make sure it's cooked, and if it needs seasoning, excuse me. Yeah, we're good. A bit more salt. And pepper. Right, what we did last week for Wagamamas? Do you remember what I did with the, um... Hi, Steve. How you doing, mate? Blumenthal Snail Porridge. Jack, again, with you and your brother saying I'm punching, you can F off. Tartar flats. You've been talking to the other one. Spring onions are garnished, Mum. Just hack them up, throw them on top. 
tartar flat is flats for the winter and alpine dish, which has got more fat in it than a fat thing from Fat Town. It will break you. It's just all cream and meat and oh, it's lush. Love it. And cheese, reblochon, reblochon cheese that you use for a raclette. Uh, so, sorry, I'm done. The thing with the um, the rice from Wagamama's last week, take a coffee cup, a wine glass, sorry, a tumbler, sorry, whatever you've got, receptacle wise, you can use a tin of beans if you like, and grease it. Spoon, sorry, I'll do it over here. Spoon the rice in and pack it down, like that. And grease it so it falls out. Pack it down and then give it time, give it time, give it time. Three, two, one, drop. There you go. And you get a nice little mold and it looks all restaurant-y, doesn't it? Just in case you're cooking for other people and you wanna make it look a bit tarty. Okay, again. And there we go, look at that. Okay, so there's two. Wait on the chicken. Let's whip that out. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of things here because I'm cooking at home. I can. Um, I don't know if you guys have done this before, but I always say every week, if you wanna check something, get a probe. They're about a tenner on Amazon. Get a probe so you can check your Sunday lunch. Not because if it's cooked, but if you're doing like a roast joint and you can't see, you want to take it to about 50 degrees. Now legally, recommendations are 63 and above. I bore you with the science, between, shut up, between eight and 63 degrees centigrade is the danger point, so bacteria can breathe, uh, breed, breathe, and all the rest of it. Now anything over 63 degrees is considered cooked and safe. Chicken, a little bit higher, 70, 75 plus. But, steaks, medium rare, rare, you want around 50, 55. And then you've got to let it rest. It's going to keep cooking while it rests. And if you still want it bloody and pink and lovely, you're going to need to sometimes probe it. I know, because I cook and a lot of people who have done, but you haven't. One of these bits of kit would be wonderful. Right, so I'm going to probe your chicken. I know it's ready, I've just checked it. Let's get this on the plate. Loads of juices left in the tray. We can use those in a minute. Jack's little one that's plain, bless him, with a little bit of sauce. Hope he doesn't find it too funky. Um, and the corn cobs. Now your corn cobs might need a little longer. Have a little, have, have a little chew on them. See what you say. Love a chew. Um, and you know what? I don't advise you guys doing this, but I'm just going to do it for see what happens. I'm experimenting and. Most of cooking is experimenting. I'm just going to bang my chips in all that lovely chicken fat. And see, see what happens. Yes, I am. So, you should all be done now, guys. I'm going to put a couple more minutes. What's that time is it? Look at that. 45 minutes in the bank. That's our Nando's. Look, imagine the corn cob. In fact, I don't even imagine it. I'll take a photo. Yeah, Insta. And that is Nando's. Chicken, coconut rice, squeeze lime onto the coconut rice, sorry, should have done that in the pan, and a little bit of slaw just for shits and giggles. Love the tash, good, isn't it? Right, everyone happy with that? Give me some thumbs up, give me some love, give me some shares, some likes, some subscribe, subscriptions, and this is a three-year-old's dressed down version. Look at that, 45 minutes at home. Marinated it the day before. Aaron, you've been quiet. How is it, bud? Hey, I am so, so hot. I'm going to have to go for fear of sweating. Right, guys, five minutes while I tidy up. What's the, time, what's the line for? In the rice. Sorry, I didn't do it. Well, when the rice is cooked, just get the lime in there and roll it around the rice. I'm so sorry. I think, um, if I'm completely honest, our lines have gone into the top of a Corona. So I didn't have Right, everyone.
Everyone happy? Right, tidy up for five minutes. Jack might come and say hello. I'm going to do the dishes up and I'll be back. Two sets. Right, back in the house. Thanks, man. Morts, we, once lockdown's over, we'll get together to some ruggers, chat, and cook up some barbecue. I'm sorry I'm so miserable, well, not miserable looking, a bit warm tonight, mate. Thanks ever so, so much, guys. Honestly, if it wasn't for you guys tuning in and showing support and loving life, and yes, I know it's mainly all my mates um, at this stage, I wouldn't be doing it. So thank you. Let's get through lockdown together. Uh, like I said, if you want to come and uh, cook with me or learn how to cook, just have a little look on the website and stuff. Um, it is all changing at the moment. There'll be a landing page I'm doing with my good friend Winnie. Um, but yeah, it's exciting and I really, really, really like doing it. So if I can help people get their kitchen confidence up and it goes somewhere, then happy days! Um, by all means, get in touch. I'll, talk, I'll think about pizza and bao buns for June. Uh, I will post it up on the Monday of next week what we are doing and we'll get fully involved. Guys, have a wonderful weekend. Have a great barbecue if that's what you're doing. Um, stay safe, stay well, enjoy the sunshine. Yeah, see you soon, take care, bye bye.